M0FXB. So I'm just programming up my Bofeng and my FT70 to use with my All-Star node, which I've chosen 434.400 CTCSS 118.8. So um, I have done it once, but we're going to check it again. So we can see the frequency is there. Uh, and then we'll go to tone menu. The tone menu is 13. So we'll go menu, menu uh, one, three. So there's the tone frequency that I've chosen, 118. Then we'll go... CTCSS, confirm. All right, we've already got that in there. Then we'll go... CTCSS, confirm. Okay. So then we'll go menu. Menu. Uh, we'll go to 25. So the shift is off. Don't need a shift because we're doing simplex. Then we'll go uh, menu 26. Menu. 26. And we don't want an offset because uh, we we're not using one. Okay. So now we want to get it into memory. Now I have actually already put it in 20, number 20, but I'm going to put it in 21. So let's go back and make sure we're in VFO. Frequency mode. And so we've already, we know all those, the settings that I need are in there. So we'll go menu 27. Menu. 27. And then on 20 is taken. Now you know when a channel is free because um, basically you go, when you go to one that isn't free, so you go up one. Menu. Hang on. Memory okay. channel. Okay, so we go up one, look, and there's no CH in front. So now we, if we hit menu. Receiving memory. That's receiving. Now, now if we wanted to change things for the transmitting memory, we would do that. And then we would go back in, and then we would hit it again. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. There you go. So... It's a bit weird with the Bofang, but basically, you just got to look at it as a double hit. So you program all your TX in and shifts and everything you need. Go to memory number 27, hit memory, and it stores it. But it says to you, receiving memory. All it's, and then what it's really saying is, look, if you're going to use this like a repeater, um, <clears throat> if you're going to use this, no, if you're going to use this to transmit, you need to tell me what frequency that's going to be, whether it's simplex or repeater. Just tell me. So you type that in, shifts and all the rest of it. Same when you're on the same channel, you know, channel 21 that was. Um, but you know, whatever you've chosen, hit it again, and then you've just said to it, yeah, and I'm going to transmit on that channel because you know some people are just programming these things to receive. So that's um, let's just go. So now to access memory channels. channel so channel mode is basically memory channel. Um, so let's just go up to number 21. Two, one. Two, one. And then, so I can see that. And what is, I've got my, bo my, F let's get it so you can see both radios. So we've got FT70 in the background, which I've already programmed the FT70, 434, 400, tone squelch, 118. So if I key here, yeah, you're going to get the feedback because they're so close. Okay, uh, but I've, I've tested it. If I go from here, hello, hello, I, I can hear myself talk and uh, vice versa. So if I go push this one, you can hear it. You can see it keying up there. It's not getting the feedback. So I'll just put it to my ear and make sure I can uh, hear what's coming out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I, I, I can hear it. Take it from me. I can hear it. So... Basically, that's the FT70 and the Bofang programmed up ready for my all-star hub. So the idea now is I'll put those frequencies and tones into my Bofang AAAS using Chirp. I'll, I'll set it all as, as recommended to low power. I'll turn off all the uh, voice alerts, all that kind of stuff, and I'll copy and paste it to all 16 channels. And then I'll be able to, uh, when I transmit on any radio of that with those frequencies and tones, it will base at what, once my node's connected, it will just you you it will, it will just hear me, and then I'll be able to go out and I can do my to set up the audio. Yeah, there is a USB setup within 
putty, um, and so we can do that another time. Seven three. That's my. That's another step done on my um, all-star node. So